Good morning. My name is Gigi. What prophecy? I pray because I see a death of a lead outside the Africa. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Walid Mualam was born in Damascus in January 1941. He was a close confidant of former Syrian leader Hafez al-Assad and then his son Bashar al-Assad. A career diplomat, his tenure at the Foreign Service saw him serving in Saudi Arabia, Tanzania, Spain and the UK. He was the Syrian ambassador to the U.S. between 1990 and 2000. On his return, he became assistant foreign minister. Five years later, he became deputy foreign minister. He gave his first interview to a Western outlet in 2012 at the height of the Syrian war, accusing the U.S. of creating terrorism in his country. A vocal defender of the Assad government, he often blamed others for the country's problems. He denied the existence of the Shabiha, a pro-government paid militia who were suspected of committing atrocities early on during the civil war, while blaming 60 percent of the violence on Turkey, Qatar and Saudi Arabia, with the United States, as he called it, exercising its influence over all others. He was also present at many of the talks aimed at ending the violence over the years, but would often take a hardline stance calling opposition groups terrorists. Throughout his tenure, he maintained close contacts with Iran, meeting regularly with the leaders of that country. Mualim would also hit out at Israel. At the United Nations General Assembly in 2017, he accused it of supporting what he called terror gangs, fighting against Syrian interests. The speech also referenced the occupied Golan Heights and his government's desire to retake the territory. And in 2014, he had this exchange with then UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Mr. Mr. Deputy Prime Minister, uh, I'm sorry to... Uh, can you just uh, wrap up? Because I, you have I, spoken I, I, only 20 minutes. Uh, yourself, please. you live in New York, I live in Syria. I have the right to give the Syrian version here in this forum. In recent years, the Syrian government has relied on Russia to push its case to the international community and turn the war in its favor. And throughout, Mualim remained at the center of the Syrian government's mission.